So what we'll take a look at now is how to make those first incisions into your pig. My first tip is to start cutting shallow. So we want to go slowly and we want to be gentle. Um, we don't want to risk cutting into something um, accidentally or making incisions that we're not sure of. So you can see I kind of switch around my grip on the scalpel a little bit and I'm making a slow incision from um, the upper throat area down to the umbilical cord. I'm pulling apart the incision just to see if, um, if I've cut through more than just the initial layers of tissue and I haven't yet. Um, I'm using my probe again to kind of see, all right, am I into the abdominal cavity, but I'm not yet. So I'm gonna take my scalpel again and go back along that original incision and make it a little bit deeper. So again, I'm using my fingers to kind of spread the tissue apart. Eventually, I'm going to want it to give a little bit. And I'm just going really gently and lightly. I'm still not into the cavity yet. So I'm just going back over those spots gently, gently. And now I finally am there and I can tell because if I put my probe in, I notice I'm now in the abdominal cavity. So I'm no longer just cutting away a connective tissue. So that now lets me know how deep I want to cut. I don't want to cut any deeper. I'm in the abdominal cavity. So now this will give me some guidance for how deep to make the next incisions. So now I'm going to do cut number two on your diagram, cutting around the umbilical cord. You may want to have one partner holding the probe like I was, um, so that way I, you, your partner knows how deep to cut. Because again, we don't want to cut into any organs, now we just want to open up that area. So I've cut on one side, <clears throat> and I'm cutting on the other. You'll notice I just kind of keep moving back and forth, um, making slow, gentle, kind of shallow cuts. I can keep going back over things if I need to. And you want to cut to the kind of medial surface of each leg. So the middle um, kind of hip area of each of the pig's legs. I'm just kind of keep going back and forth. And I can't quite pull the umbilical cord down yet, so I'm going to cut through the blood vessel that's currently connected right there. You can kind of see how I'm pulling away. I'm kind of going back and forth. And there I go. So I should be able to pull that umbilical cord all the way down. So you're going to cut a blood vessel. Cut a little bit further into each leg. And now I'm going to make incision three. So incision three is just posterior to the diaphragm. It's also just posterior to the ribs. So there you can see I'm kind of feeling where the rib cage is. We don't want to cut the ribs. We want to cut underneath the ribs or posterior to the ribs. <clears throat> and so I'm kind of pulling back. I'm, I know where my finger is, so I'm not going to cut it. And that's incision And here I'm working on incision three on the other side. You can see, I couldn't quite figure out how to get the camera angle in. I wouldn't recommend you move your pig around like this. I would keep looking at it just the way I originally was, but I wanted to figure out how you would be able to see it more clearly.
And again, I'm kind of feeling along to see where that rib cage is. I don't want to cut the rib cage itself or the ribs themselves. Now I'm kind of pulling a little bit, pulling things down, just making sure that I can see into that abdominal cavity clearly. Um, I didn't need to do a full incision four, um, but I did loosen up those side areas a little bit just so I can really see into that abdominal cavity. I was kind of pushing down on the hips and legs and now I'm 